Welcome to the Fancy Thinker. I'm Jared Kordimich, and today I am going to be doing Led Zeppelin book tag. That's right. Check it out. Uh, back in the day, Led Zeppelin was one of my favorite bands. You know, still is really, and um, I'm a huge fan. And uh, how did Dan know that? <laughs> Uh, so I was tagged by uh, Dan from the Black and Blue Caller Reader. He uh, he sent this, you know, Led Zeppelin book tag to me. Um, I think he kind of figured out I was I was into that. Not how to do, <laughs> but Dan did an excellent job of uh, answering these questions. And um, and thank you, Dan, for tagging me. That was that was very great of you. Uh, Dan said in his video that he tried to use Led Zeppelin music and uh the youtube god didn't uh, didn't let him denied uh so but he did a great job of recovering from that and putting out an excellent video so uh i'm going to do my best to uh to answer these led zeppelin questions as well it's based upon all the questions are based upon the songs from the first album led zeppelin 1 which came back came out way back in 1968 i think or 67 yeah, you know, way back then, and uh, but stood the test of time. It's a great, great album. Um, so to kick it right off, the first song is called "Good Times, Bad Times." Good times, bad times. You know I've had my share. Yeah. Uh, name an author from whom you've read a great book and a bad book. Okay, it took me a while to think of this one. And I came up with Simon Hawk. He was a uh, prolific fantasy sci-fi author, author from uh, back in the late '80s, early '90s, and um, he wrote these these cool books called Time Wars, which I loved. Uh, it was basically these two organizations who uh, one would go back in time and try to mess it up and change it, the other one would go back and try to stop them, basically. And uh, they were really cool. He brought up. A lot of historical situations that you know he really delved into, and it was uh, it was a good time reading those books. Then he went and wrote some novels in the Dark Sun um, world from uh, Wizards of the Coast or TSR, uh, the people who made Dungeons and Dragons, and they were not good. Uh, I was very disappointed. Uh, he kind of just he his main character was like this, this Mary Sue character who couldn't be defeated. It was great at everything. And, uh, it just, it, it didn't sit well. And, um, and that was too bad because the, uh, original author of the, the original dark sun novels, Troy Denning did a great job with bringing this, uh, unique world and atmosphere, um, that TSR put together at the same time. And, uh, so that was, Disappointing, to say the least. Enough said about that. Um, move on, on to number two. Babe, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you. Yeah. I ain't joking. Uh, name an author you've outgrown, have no desire to read anymore. Um, that would be Terry Brooks. That was pretty simple for me to come up with. Um, after I read, uh, you know, the, the author of The Sword of Shannara. And then the Eldstones of Shannara and uh, something else of Shannara, and where he kind of retells the same story um, over and over again. Uh, so I, I, I kind of grew sick of that, and I had no desire to read anything else uh, by that author. Um, and so, you know, enough said about that, really. Uh, the next one is You Shook Me. You shook me all night long. And so... That one is name a book that shocked you with something unexpected. This was unexpected. Uh, back in the 80s, I think, late 80s, Donaldson, Stephen Donaldson, wrote a book called The Real Story, The Gap into Conflict. This was a, a foray into science fiction. And this book shocked the heck out of me because it was short um donaldson was known for long novels uh known for writing the books uh the famous series thomas covenant the unbeliever 
And um, this book shocked me with its uh, its brutality. Um, there was a like there was torture, there was rape in it, and but yet it also shocked me with the way he turned things around and really made you root for this character and and want this character to overcome adversity at all costs and despite the shocking events in this book i could not put it down i couldn't stop reading and i had to find out and when this book was over and the second book come out came out called forbidden knowledge I had to know. I was so that's that's how shocking this book was, and then the second book turns around and shocks you even more with its new points of view and expansion of the whole universe and story that he was telling, and um, yeah, it really uh, threw me for a loop, and uh, to this day, it's a five book cycle uh, series, and to this day, it's it's one of the greatest ones I've ever read. Uh, so that shook me. <laughs> Uh, the next one is a little dazed and confused. Yeah, John Paul Jones, I am not, uh, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, Days and Confused, name a book author you don't understand the hype for. Uh, I go to my standby on this one. It is Harry Potter. I just, I'm an old guy, I guess. I just don't get it. That must be what it is, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, no aspersions on all the legions of people who grew up on uh, Harry Potter, but I just didn't get it, couldn't get it. To me, he looked like a copy of um, Neil Gaiman's character from the Book of Magic with the uh, magic and the glasses, you know. So uh, that's the one for me. Uh, number five, your time, your time is going to come. Uh, name a book that has been on your TBR for over a year. I haven't had a TBR for over a year, but I would say the closest I can come is the black company by glenn cook that is um something i've been meaning to get to and i just haven't haven't had the chance yet so that's the one there uh next one is uh black mountainside so uh no vocals there <laughs> uh that's an instrumental um so name a book with an unusual or unconventional setting i would have to say the death gate cycle by uh, Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. Uh, that was just, uh, at the time I read that, it was quite the unique setup for for the, the different worlds that uh, they put together there, and I thought it was really neat. Um, so uh, that's, uh, you know, wasn't, it was a good, uh, a good series that was a lot of fun to read, um, but a really unique setting, un very unconventional, I would say, yeah. Uh, communication break, communication breakdown. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, name a book you buddy read with someone that you completely disagreed with. I just can't come up with anything. I'm having a communication breakdown in my mind on that one because, um, I haven't done any buddy reads on, on YouTube, uh, till now. Um, uh, but, um, and uh, a lot of stuff I've read that other people have read, they've liked it too. So um, we got to uh, stop that one there. All right. So number eight, I can't quit you, babe. Um, I can't quit you, baby. So name an auto by author. That would be Stephen Erickson. You guys know we by now. And that would also be. Stephen Donaldson. <laughs> uh, so that's a couple there. You know, those those two guys are auto buy for me right now. Um, and maybe I'm going to get a few more of those uh, as time goes on here. Um, number nine. How many more times? Uh, and how many more times? Name a book series you keep coming back to even after you've DNF'd it. Did not finish it. Uh, that's none. Yeah. I've, uh, pretty much finished everything that I've 
put my eyes on. Um, yeah, I have a problem with that. I, I have a hard time not finishing things, uh, even if I don't like it. Like, you know, Moby Dick. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, so I for that one, I just got to do a flat out none. And uh, that is my Led Zeppelin book tag. So that was... Uh, that was fun and interesting, and I uh, hope you enjoyed those. I hope you enjoy those answers. Uh, I'm going to tag a couple of guys here. Uh, I'm going to tag the channel's uh, Punk Rock Cereal Bowl. So uh, it's a pretty cool channel. And uh, I'm going to tag Bods and Books. I know he likes music. So we'll tag, uh, we'll tag those two guys and see if uh, they can come up with anything. Uh, it's hopefully something more interesting than uh, what I just did here. But... I hope uh, you enjoyed that tag. I I like these these questions. They were fun and um, be good to each other. Thank you.